Really glad we did it. Not so sure that Nikki's so glad. We run away. So let us up when we're low. Just chase the waves. We'll make it up as we go. If you're here. It comes in 10 minutes and it leaves every hour. Right. How do you feel about climbing that mountain? I'm not doing the top one. It's not happening. Really? That one up there? Yeah, yeah good luck. Oh, even if I lose my ground, I won't let it hold me down. We designed up the fair boat is on the other end of Visegrad and we're going to Danube River over the Visegrad. Visegrad. It's very hot. We want to go to the castle, but it looks like it's a little bit easier. We don't know exactly what we're going to do. Hey, look at that. Can you see that? Yeah, it's very cool. We're trying to do a thing. We're gonna try and walk up the castle. I don't know. If, I don't know if we can do that. <laughs> it's just so hard to find a bus that takes us all the way up there. And then we ride it was 45 minutes, and it's like, well, that doesn't seem so bad. Look, it was either this or we muck around for an hour doing things that really we didn't want to do. Yeah. Um, and look, I think it's a real, it's an achievement if we can do it. And That's if they a big said, gift. well, maybe, maybe if we look really sad and hold our thumbs at someone. <laughs> Have mercy and give us a lift. Yeah. But anyway, let's try it. Okay, let's Looking go. Looking forward to it. Fortunately, Nikki spotted the arrows and remembered from a, another vlogger site that we'd seen that we have to follow these two to the castle. I just headed straight up the road. So God knows where we would have ended up. Here's an arrow. That means the castle is that way. Oh, yeah, look, this is not even steep. <laughs> This is the very first hundred meters of the walk and it's nearly straight up. Okay, now where is the next sign? <laughs> there it is up there. We've been going about 35 seconds now. <laughs> And it's getting steeper. <laughs> so Nikki brought her own pack horse or mule, so she didn't have to carry stuff. Can I grab my drone? Hang on. <laughs> Help yourself. Okay, we've just stopped for a minute to pump some oxygen into our collapsed lungs. We make our way. Just break the chains of your feet We can look down Cause that is how we lose Get yourself out it's Okay, if you're expecting a cobbled or a nice flat concrete footpath This is not the place for you um, And I'm managing it, but we are having frequent stops um, And it's quite a warm day We made it I'm glad we did it, but it was really hard, okay? <laughs> We got these hats. Show yours too. Okay, so they were expensive, but we really needed them. It's been a really hot day, um, and the sun is shining directly on us. So. And given I've just had all my hair cut, yeah, and I don't have a lot of it to start with, <laughs> I should have a hat.
I definitely think that it was worth the effort of climbing up here. There's not much to see like inside the castle. I would skip the wax museum. It was like two rooms of wax figures. <laughs> but the views from the top of the castle The are views made it really worthwhile. Particularly yeah. the, uh, the Danube side. Yeah, thumbs up as an enjoyable afternoon. Uh, like you, I would skip the wax museum. It is a very cool day trip from Budapest. It was nice to see a bit of the Hungarian countryside. Don't forget to subscribe to join us in our travels. Also, check out our Lucky Dippers podcast.